Elven will come. Uh, so, my name is Kamal Tamam, and uh, this will be a uh, brief introduction to how you can handle uh, files uh, to uh, and change files, or you, how you can read, write, and append files using the Python. <coughs> so, any uh, programming language such as Java or uh, PHP or any uh, language such as C sharp uh, available or uh, make you uh, the chance or provide tools uh, to uh, save data to files or you uh, can read data from files so uh, let's get started and uh, the first one will be an file uh, 01.by and inside this file as you can see we have an uh, regular Python file Let's get started by uh, hide this panel by making control B and uh, f uh, first we will open a file which is text file and I will say that it's called data the text and I will open this as a file object so we, def we define that this text file as a file object and after opening this file we will say that this file has some contents and we will read this file object like this and after that you must print this content or contents such as this and uh, to be uh, honest this is a way and we can now go to run this file so let's get started by uh, change directory and again change directory to this one which is altohami uh, so uh, let's go back and change directory to and we will run uh, this file which is file 01.by and we will see, uh, see that there is no file data.txt or we will see that uh, there is no uh, outcome so let's get started by making our file data dot txt and after that we will write uh, first name and second <coughs> so this is final line I have typed three, uh, four lines uh, to be uh, honest you must save all these files and get started by uh, running Python 3 because we have Python 3 so if you have Python 2 you can uh, go and type Python only without 2 and after that <coughs> we can run this dot by and uh, it says that a Python is isn't recognized so type bison 3 because i have bison 3 and make sure if you have an ide such as basharm you can uh, run the file from uh, your ide so let's get started and it say that the read isn't recognized uh, so let's uh, go back And it seems that we have uh, the read, uh, let's go here, and uh, name read isn't uh, re defined. All right, uh, so the problem is that we have uh, not like this, but we have the file object any object has the read function like this let's go back and rerun our file you must see this is the outcome uh, so we have uh, the read we have uh, the content print the content uh, so this is one way for uh, running files uh, so uh, be be uh, because we have the file here you can define also the file name here as data.txt and here replace this data.txt with file name 
you must uh, make the name of the file in double string such as this anyway let's go go back and see how we can if we run it's the same and let's see how we can uh, write from file so let us see how we can write to a file uh, we, to be honest the first step is file name we have a new file dot txt with open this file name with the mode of uh, write as file object and after that we uh, will say uh, that file object dot write hello there and uh, maybe copying this one and paste also like this make sure that you type it correctly and make sure that you type it the same and after that we can run our file so we will say python3 and uh, we have the file 01.by and it say we have unexpected indent uh, so we must uh, make all this the same indent and after that you can rerun our file so uh, by default if you have the file in your system all <coughs> all the data in your uh, file will be erased and uh, we will uh, write or replace all the data uh, previously existed with uh, these two lines if you open this file you will see one only line which is hello there hello world let's see how we can here we have only one line to uh, make uh, two lines you can go and uh, press uh, these backslashes in to make two uh, two lines and uh, we can say file object dot write this is the third line in the new file written using anyway and uh, you must uh, make the indent the same and uh, let's go back and make sure you have all these the same and we will uh, now uh, uh, go back and run this file Python 3 file 01.by and we will see in a moment this is the third line and as you can see we can now print data is <coughs> successfully written uh, to your to your uh, which is file name and this is function anyway let's go back and uh, run our file again let's uh, make sure that you have bison3 file 01.by and data successfully written to this new file.txt all right this is pretty straightforward a method and uh, we will go uh, to the next lesson and uh, let's see how we can append data to a file so uh, we have already new file dot txt let's see how we can append uh, maybe three more lines or around 10 lines as you like you can add any or append any uh, new files as you want so uh, the method is by uh, going to uh, let's uh, go to a uh, new file 02.by and after that we will uh, say that we have the file name will be the new file.txt 
and again let's with open we will open this file name and with the method which is a uh, bin a uh, make sure that you, we have also read and write with this one if you want to read and write you can go uh, with this uh, r plus but we want only a bend uh, so we will uh, open this file <coughs> in the append mode and uh, we will open this file as file object and uh, what is uh, useful from using uh, with function so uh, the use, uh, using the with function you must sure that the file will be closed once access is finished so uh, you must sure that the file will be closed will be closed once the access is finished uh, to this file uh, again we will uh, make something we will try uh, to uh, let's see how we can we can go uh, back and say file object dot append we have the append function we will append some line which is uh, this is new line and uh, let's go to this uh, new line i will uh, copy this line one time and after uh, that uh, let's go uh, back make sure that the indent is the same we will print uh, the message to, for the user we will print that uh, the maybe the file or the data has been written successfully uh, to which is the file file name and make sure you have typed it file like this and let's go back we have this file uh, 0 2 and we will run file 02.by so it say that uh, has uh, no attribute append i think that uh, the append we will uh, go to make it right and uh, let's uh, make it right and <coughs> go back so the data has been written to the new file uh, you uh, can expect that we have five lines now we have five lines exactly as we expect to continue our lesson we will uh, talk about something new we will talk about the try except so uh, if you have the Python shell here uh, let's clear all this can you print five by zero i think you will see an error in math you can't divide 5 by 0 because this is zero division error how we can handle this exception inside uh, Python so uh, Python give you the ability to handle all these exception how you can handle all these exceptions so basically if you have an error you can use the try accept block accept block to handle all uh, these errors Let's see how we can get this uh, to uh, handle all these errors so we can use a try uh, you can print five division by zero and uh, if there is any exception you will print except of uh, we have the exception here which is zero division error so zero division error zero division error you will uh, print to uh, the, the user you can't divide by zero like this anyway let's r run our file we have this file zero three and bison three file zero three dot by and uh, it say that we have invalid uh, syntax where is the invalid syntax it say that you have invalid syntax in line one
uh, so let's try again we have uh, in this one it say invalid syntax uh, i think uh, we must go out from the bison shell and you can now bison3 file03.by and you can't divide we are now here in the bison shell you must go to the directory and uh, we uh, can't divide by zero because we have the exception so uh, if you uh, make it any number like this uh, let's go back and run our file we have the it to be double like this and uh, let's see what we have else we have also an exception which is called let's try an exception so bass is uh, something keyword in bison which tell the interpreter or the uh, bison language to uh, maybe going to ignore this line or uh, go to the next line uh, so let's go back and we have the file not found error this is used a lot if you uh, want to find the file this is advanced topic and we will cover in the next lesson i hope you enjoyed this lesson see you in the next course